What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're out here with Travis from Bassin Habits. Get the camera straight here. It's pure madness. Fishing the Bassin for a cause tournament. We were doing a, uh, a numbered blast off, but it know. seems like it's turned to a, kind of an impromptu shotgun start. Looks like it. <laughs> so starting off uh, being an eventful day already with the fog delay and it's gonna be a fun one. Now one thing before we get going, if y'all hadn't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers this year. We're, uh, I mean, we're getting ever closer to it. I think I'm at 826 as of the start of this video. But y'all stay tuned. We'll see how it turns out. I don't even know. I think everybody went that way. They did. Yeah. I told you whoever wins, it's going to go that way. Everybody else knows that too. Everybody went that way. <laughs> Makes you scared to go that way now, don't it? I makes me want to go that way. Because I don't think there's going to be much to fish that way. I'm down with that. I'm gonna start off throwing a little buzz bait around this morning. See if anything wants in on that action. There's a what? All right, I can give up on the buzz bait real quick, and we gonna uh, we gonna swap to the old Inu rig and give this thing a try. You gotta slide. hit the slide first. I gotta hit the slide first, but <laughs> you throw it up the slide, let it fall down the slide. Natural presentation. Oh. What you call a natural presentation right there. Right it in the feet. Now that would have been cool. <laughs> hmm? How you work it? Yeah, you just twitch it. Twitch it along and then let it sink. Like you would a wacky, wacky rig or just regular Senko or whatever. Oh, yeah. You got a net or you going to boat flip him? That's a decent large mouth start today right there. Number eight, Uno. I'm ashamed of this one right here, but if I don't catch something else, he's going to go in a video. Bait. Minners. Cut bait. All right, buddy. Right now, they're probably staging on the points right there before they go into the creek right there off the main Another river. Thing I know is Th this time of year last year. I mean, now that ain't to say it's the same right now, but this time of year last year was about the same conditions. They were sitting off anywhere there was wood on at the creek mouth off the main lake getting ready to start going up in the creeks a little bit of a change of pace here been fishing shallow all morning now we moved over to one of these steeper banks um we'll see if something hanging around this wood off of it Oh, that right there, uh, oh yeah, no, he, he inhaled it about as soon as it hit the water. Hmm. Number three, y'all. Thank you, measure on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you was there. Yep. A little bitty in, but that's number three. Get us one more closer. We're recording. Because I got him stuck pretty good. That's the spot right there. Guarantee it.
Ah, bon, allez, comment Un old spot on the Ned rig. Add our little small collection of largemouth. Oh yeah. We're getting our weight up little by little. Yeah, probably. All right, well, Travis is hooked up now. Need a net or he's small enough you can flip him. Well, I'll get on standby just in case. All right. Well. All right. There's five, man. Got us. Got us a bag now. Time to start calling. Oh, I wish the camera would have been rolling. <laughs> Travis thing trying to kill the dang thing. <laughs> Ripped it out of the water and it uh it like deflected off my rod. <laughs> what just happened? That's crazy, man. Yes, that's playing good. playing pinball with a playing bass pinball. <laughs> oh. Y'all, that's a wrap for our fishing day today, but I believe we're uh we're in store for a serious butt whooping when this weigh-in starts here in a minute. We, uh, we basically conceded defeat at this point. I think we've maybe got eight pounds for lucky. But, I mean, it's been a grind today. I mean, we've been grinding it out. Bites have been few and far between. I mean, we managed our five fish. We uh, weren't able to cull anything because uh, the other fish that we caught, they were they too small to even cull the smallest one that we started off with. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's get them in a bag and go up here and get them weighed in and see, see what happens. All right. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see what our pitiful little fish weighs. 960. Oh man, we got more than I thought we did. 960. I, I didn't think we had that much. Quit it. Stop it. Big and size. That's a nice one right there. That'll put you in first right there for now. 10, 10. What's left of it? Yeah. It's a freaking stud. Oh. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. It's going to be a wrap for this one. I had a blast out there fishing with Travis, fishing the uh, Bassin for a Cause tournament. Um, it's a little tournament that he puts on each year. They uh, they donate money to the Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Foundation. But, I mean, it's good to be fishing something that's for a good cause. Um, even though it was a grind out there, I mean, I'm not even going to lie. It, it, definitely a freaking grind out there today but still good to be back on the water because i hadn't uh i hadn't been able to be out in the boat in a while since my truck's down waiting on an engine to come in I hadn't had a way to pull my boat and uh man, i've just been a bank fisherman for the last little while so definitely felt good to get out there and be in a boat and do a little bit of fishing and i mean felt especially good just in being going towards a good cause also um but we uh we wound up finishing seventh out of 26 boats we had like 9.6 pounds the, uh, the winning bag had like 15.8 or something like that. Uh, the one thing that the uh, the top three boats had that we didn't have, I mean, they each of them were able to manage a big kicker fish. Uh, one of them had a 7.7 uh, pound largemouth that was anchoring off their bag. Another one had like a 6.8 pound largemouth. Uh, our biggest one of the day, we had a largemouth that was like 2.5 and then a spot that was like 2.46. Um, other than that, I mean, the rest of our fish didn't really amount to a whole lot. But I want to thank you guys again for all the support. I mean, thank y'all for watching the videos. Thank y'all for everything. Without y'all, I mean, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be putting these videos out. But I really appreciate you guys to watch them. Now, if you hadn't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Y'all be looking forward for all the awesome content that I've got coming down the pipe. I mean, I know this one may not have been the best. I mean, really, I was more focused on trying to fish this tournament than filming. So, I mean, I missed some moments that I probably would have liked to have had on the video, but it is what it is oh yeah and one more thing if, uh, if any of y'all haven't already make sure to go check out travis from bass and habits i'm going to drop a link to his channel down in the description below I mean, he's got some uh some pretty cool stuff y'all uh, y'all go check him out but uh thank y'all for dropping by we'll see you guys next time